Aptera announced the worst kept secret and that they're going to be using OpenPilot from Comet AI. In this video, we're going to be doing a bit of a deep dive into what OpenPilot is, how it's different from anything else on the road today, and why it's a good fit for Aptera. Kama AI was founded by George Hotz in 2015 to develop a $1,000 autonomous driving consumer product that could be retrofitted to any car with an ADAS system. Those plans were scrapped in 2016 when they received a letter from the National Highway and Traffic Safety Administration looking into the safety of the product. Basically, Kama AI wasn't prepared to take on the liability should their product cause accidents or kill people. The way they got around that was to make the whole project open source. OpenPilot is the software that actually does all the thinking for autonomous driving. The core program was developed by Kama AI, then released to the public for free on software development sharing platform GitHub, and as updates to Kama AI devices. When you buy a Kama 3, you're actually buying a development kit. It doesn't ship with OpenPilot. You have to install it yourself. This is how Kama AI can sidestep regulators because they're not taking payment for an autonomous driving system, nor are they providing one to the consumer. All they sell in warranty is the device on your windshield, which is called the Kama 3. You are taking on the risk and liability of the level two system by installing OpenPilot. Because the software is open source, the code is available for anyone to look at or to tinker with, and people have. There are thousands of different versions or branches of OpenPilot software that are all based off the core code written by Kama AI. As always, use at your own risk. Aptera didn't really have a choice if they wanted to install a level two autonomous driving system. Anything that they were gonna develop themselves or coming from an OEM would be way too expensive and time consuming. This is free software. What a great thing for a startup. Aptera also has software engineers that can write an Aptera specific branch of OpenPilot, but this is where things get sticky. If Aptera ships with OpenPilot installed, they'd be liable for what that software will do. One accident and lawsuit means Aptera is done forever. I do not think that Aptera will integrate the hardware into their vehicle or have the cameras feed information into OpenPilot. Again, it would be at the added expense of time and money to do so for the launch editions. Instead, I think they will ship Aptera without any hardware or software related to autonomous driving, but make it as easy as possible to install your own Kama 3. They'll even write their own software for the vehicle to play as nice as possible with the Kama 3. Like on any other vehicle, I would expect the Kama 3 to mount under the rear view screen, which is where they have it on the beta vehicle. Down the road, I would love to see this information displayed on a screen directly in front of the yoke, between the two side view screens. From the comments on the release video, people seemed pretty concerned that it will add cost, delay production, or that they won't be able to disable it. It is an option. Think of it like adding a TomTom or Garmin to your car. You will interface with it like cruise control. You select a speed and engage it. In most vehicles with OpenPilot, that is how you engage, disengage the system with your vehicle's cruise control buttons. You can take over steering at any time, and when you let go of the wheel, it recenters for you and will keep pace with the car in front of you or travel at the speed you set in the cruise control. That is how basic OpenPilot works, but Kama AI is working on the ability to have it navigate to a destination, do lane changes, merge, and take exits, stop at signs and lights, and generally do all the driving for you. That is still some time off for the general public, but from tests, it looks like the system will eventually get there. The current price of the Kama 3 ranges from $14.99 to $16.99, and you'll also need to purchase the harness specific to your vehicle for $200. Aptera and Kama AI are both San Diego companies, and they have at least one employee in common with Chris. Chris was at Kama AI before joining Aptera, which is why he's the one in the reveal video. At Kama AI, Chris was the head of production and communications, so he definitely has tremendous insight into how Kama AI, OpenPilot, and the Kama 3 work and how they'll work in the Aptera. As for Kama AI and Aptera working directly together, this is what Kama AI founder George Hotz had to say about that this January at CES. We don't work with anybody. We don't work with Aptera. You, you don't understand. Kama doesn't work with people. We work with cars, right? I don't know if we support Aptera. It's not a production car. When it's a production car, we'll think about it. And what he thought about the Aptera in general. Would Kama buy an Aptera? Nah, I don't know. I'm not, I'm not that interested. Uh, I mean, it depends. Like, things that I like, and this is just me. Like, I like cars with good, uh, nice and quiet interiors, good ride quality. I used to ride a motorcycle. Younger me, maybe. Younger me would like an Aptera. Overall, this is a really exciting announcement from Aptera. It remains to be seen exactly how this is going to be implemented, but OpenPilot with Comma 3 is a level two autonomous driving system that can be installed in just a few minutes, which is really pretty mind blowing. 